Welcome back guys, today I'm going to show you how to install Sudachi, the Nintendo Switch emulator for Android. So head over to your browser, and we're going to go to Sudachi, and we're going to scroll down to get help page. And we're not going to build, we're going to go to latest release. We're going to scroll down. And we're going to go download the Sadashi EA release, just down here. Let that download. And while we're here, we're going to head over to the Kimshi GitHub. And we're going to download the Mesa Turnip Driver 24.1 Vision 18. And go to Assets. And we're going to download the second one here, which is there. That download and then we'll okay. go to my files and we're going to go to internal storage. We're going to download and we're going to tap on Sudashi EA and install. Let it install and again, tap done. We're going to head back to our home screen, tap on Sudashi, grant it its permissions, allow, get the product keys. You will have to find these yourself. Uh, use Google. You have no problem. And we're going to scroll down to where I have these stored. And then keys. We're going to select prod.keys. And then we're going to add the games while we're here. Whoops, not there. Use that folder, allow, deep scan, okay, continue. And then before we do anything else, go to the settings and we're gonna go to GPU driver and we're gonna go install. We're gonna to go to where we downloaded it and tap on that. That's the GPU driver installed. We're gonna go back and I'm running a screen recorder on this. So I'm gonna to have to go into settings, advanced settings here, and I'm gonna drop the resolution down to 540p and then we're going to head back we're going to go to the game and we're going to run Kirby and the Forgotten Land see how well it runs last time I ran this I had a few graphical issues glitches but we'll see if the uh, updates have improved anything Just remember I am running a screen recorder on this device, so it is going to lag a little bit, but I'm not doing too bad considering. Not done too bad, we are dipping down to 25 frames. Still very playable. Yeah, I'm not a touch screen, touch screen control guy. I hate touch screen controls, that's why I've got a Backbone one controller. But I just want to show you you can actually play this game with a touch screen.
Come and get me. Thank you very much. Yeah, we've got a bit of a slowdown down to 18 frames. Not so good. But like I told you, I'm running the screen recorder at the moment. This will run much better without it. I will be making another video of... Uh, Zelda, we can see when I do a screen, not screen record on a Zelda game, that game does not like to be played while the screen recorder running, and same with Mario Odyssey, and hates it. Here we go. This section here is usually where it slows down quite a bit. Even if you don't have screen recording going. So we'll see what happens just after this cutscene. See it? Carby. Okay, let's see how well it runs. A little bit of a slowdown. Oh, not too bad, 25 frames. Yeah, we are dipping close to 20 frames. Oops, I need you. Yep. I used to get, get a lot more slowdown with the earlier releases of uh, Sudachi or Yuzu or Suyu. Basically they're all based on each other anyway. Anyway guys, as always, thanks for watching. If you want to see me run another game or another emulator, please let me know in the comments. If you like this video, like it. If you didn't like it, like it. And I'll see you next time.